Oh, wakey wakey. Alright, I wanted to film a video and share with y'all. This mod pack is called Seopolis. I'm still kind of early game on it. But I wanted to show you, as soon as my game unfreezes, I wanted to show you how I'm getting materials, ores, other things. We've got a bunch of like material generators here set up. <clears throat> Just with stairs that are waterlogged, lava over here, and block breakers is how I have all of these set up. But they're all getting different material for me. So the first one that I have is just a regular cobblestone gen, which you get cobblestone from. And in this mod pack, you get four other stones, granite, this stuff, soulstone cobble. And with the granite and andesite, and I forget the last one, that all goes into this auto hammer. And that crushes it up. And then it feeds these fire crucibles which all have lava underneath of them, and they're generating lava with the crushed stones. So, all right. And that's how you kill yourself. You should leave water around your base so you can cool off. All right, we're leaving that in there. So, two of these crucibles, the lava that it's generating is feeding my smeltery down below. And then the other two crucibles are going into this blast chiller. And when you put lava in a blast chiller in this Seopolis mod pack, you end up with obsidian. So that's how I'm getting obsidian. And the rest of this, I had the cobblestone being filtered out along with this soul cobble, whatever it's called, soulstone cobble. That soulstone goes in that drawer, obviously. And then the regular cobble comes into these solar cookers and it turns it into stone. So moving on to the next material that I did was sand. So same thing, water log stair, lava behind here. And if you put it over top of sandstone, you end up with the two different sands, red sand and regular sand. So those are feeding into these auto sieves, which are sieving the stuff down. I didn't want to feed you, bro. And then it goes into this auto compressor and it compresses it down the different things that I'm putting in my storage system. Same thing with the red sand. And then for the last one on this side over here, we have a smooth stone generator, which if you put compressed smooth stone underneath where your block is being formed, same thing, lava, water logs there. And then the blocks formed here, we got block breakers that are breaking all this stuff. You end up with smooth stone, but you also end up with gravel and some flint. So the smooth stone has to be broken down in order to sift it. So that's being fed into this hammer. And then I got two guys over here, auto sieving, gravel, takes the stuff, compacts it in here, shoots it down into my storage system down below. And the last one I just added was netherrack. So for the netherrack, lava and blue ice over top of soul soil, block breaker breaks it, turns it into netherrack. That's getting hammered down in here, turns it into crushed netherrack. Crushed netherrack goes through the auto sieve. And some of the stuff gets put in here. And this stuff was kind of goofy. Nether quartz, solium dust. So I had to add a diamond upgrade on here. And I filtered it out so that this was turning the quartz into like quartz bricks and some other stuff before. So I had to change that to add that. So for power, for all this stuff, so far all I have is five of these wind generators. Now let me take you down below and show you what else I added here for automation. So there's the smeltery, and like I said before, we got the two fire crucibles up there making lava. Two of those are feeding the smeltery. Boom, it goes into the seared tank. And then over here is where I have my storage for now. All the ores and other pieces that we're getting from up there get put down into here. Now, with the nether rack, I was able to add a piece called a seared duct. So with this, you can put a copper can in here with whatever kind of material you want to pull out of the smeltery, and you can automate this whole process too. So we got molten overworld matter is being pulled out of here. It's getting put into these casting basins up here, pulled out, and it goes into Blay, Blay's auto sieving it. So far I only have diamond meshes, so this is what we're getting. I need one more emerald to get an emerald mesh. But that's what I got so far. 
Hopefully this might help somebody set up their own way of doing it. Thanks for checking out the video. Have fun, y'all, and peace.